then we select create panel select line check auto grid click and drag and click again and right click to end the end the line okay now we select from the selection drop down box selection set drop down box select ref images select yes okay click click on move button select this reference image let's move this reference image in a bit oh, sorry right wrong select the reference image ref front move this in a bit we'll change the position back to position 0 y position 0 again later ok click somewhere else right click on front viewport select a geometry make sure you select compound objects ok let's press H to select by name select the line 0 1 that should be only one line ok then click on loft then click on get shape ok the shape one is the barrel so a barrel will be made loft along the path provided by the line that I just created now we right click on the front viewport press alternate W to maximize that viewport use the mouse mouse wheel to zoom in ok so like this loft object then press alternate X so we can, we can see through the thing select move button uh, select modify tab then we change the skin parameter select loft ok change for sk under skin parameter change shape steps to 2 path steps to 0 ok now let's change the click on plus and beside path loft click on path click on plus and beside vertex select vertex select this ver the end vertex there, click and drag to move it inwards ok, now we select loft again ok, let's select distance instead of percentage increase the length ok click and drag the middle mouse button the middle mouse button to the pen increase this value of length and value of half until you see the uh, the x yellow x indicating position on the path is shown at the position where the excavator should be press button w to go back to uh, uh, for viewport's view click on get shape click on barrel again so you see the barrel shape will be up to here and onwards let's click one time here to increase it slightly then we click on the barrel evacuator shape so you see the barrel evacuator shape will be onwards from that position ok let's change it back to percentage ok then we change it back to distance and you select the W and you know, get shape click on barrel evacuator again so barrel evacuator shape will be from this point onwards then you click one more time to increase and select barrel shape again so from as you can see from onwards barrel shape will be used and on path percentage then we click on the W click get shape Select the barrel shape again. Increase slight slight distance. Increase slightly. Select the barrel aim shape. Increase distance a little. Wait, sorry. Select percentage again. Decrease it a bit. Then yeah, about this point. Select distance. Click on the barrel aim shape again. Increase slightly. And click on barrel shape. Click on barrel shape. Okay, then we 
Right click on left viewport, press Alt W to maximize that kind of slide viewport as you see it's rotated wrongly. So click on rotate button, click and drag to rotate it 90 degrees. Make sure the angle stand is selected so it's rotated now. So it's a bit slightly slighted, press W. Press Alt W to to go back and form viewports view. Right click on top view, click on zoom extend selected. Zoom extends all. Okay, select path, select vertex. Click on move to, select vertex here. Change y coordinate to zero. Select the vertex there. Change y coordinate to zero. Okay, you can go to the left view, but you see it's now straight. Now click on front view, press on the W. So you see it follows the reference image. Okay, select. I select reference image, click on move, change the y coordinate back to zero. Okay, select barrel laugh, press button X to toggle off see through. So you can see the barrel there. So you can see the tank now has the now has this barrel. So that's so thank you for listening.